Hey everybody, it's Cookie once again with another top 10 mods of the week for Star Wars Battlefront 2. As usual, these mods will be judged on how fun and useful they are in the game, as well as some other determining factors. But without further ado, let's get into the list. Starting us off at number 10 is the Kashyyyk Battle Droids by Sorox. The paint scheme on these droids has the perfect mix of standing out without feeling like they're totally out of place. The droids paint scheme shows them off as semi-stealth units that may have fought in the Battle of Kashyyyk. The scheme goes for the Assault, Heavy, Officer, and Specialist, and it's just a nice change of pace from the regular default battle droid scheme. At number 9, it is Darth Vader Actus II by Katarn. This is just sick. This mod changes Yoda's Actus Jedi Interceptor into a paint scheme more befitting to Darth Vader, and boy do I love the results. It's sleek and rustic at the same time, and I think it fits the Dark Lord of the Sith more than his actual game starfighter, the TIE Advanced. This just looks way cooler. Make it canon? Somehow? Number 8 is a twofer mod. It's Bosk in Black by Official Mango and Demonic Bosk by Dementium. These mods were just born for one another. Bosk in Black changes Bosk's outfit from yellow to black, while Demonic Bosk changes his skin color from green to red. Red and black is about as cool a color combination as there is. Also, it allows Bosk to have a color scheme more similar to the rest of the villains. Dark, shadowy, and foreboding. Also, it looks Badass. This just turns Boss from a creepy bounty hunter to a creepy as hell scary ass bounty hunter and I am perfectly cool with that. Number seven is Hero Overhaul by Fury and Fiji Waters. Do you want to change the heroes around without downloading 100 mods? Well, this mod might be for you. It comes with a bunch of different looks from a bunch of different modders, including a new outfit for Princess Leia and Rey, as well as a Sabine outfit for Boba Fett, Count Dooku added in, as well as Anakin Skywalker, Mace Windu, and Captain Rex. They're not necessarily the best looks in the game, but they're pretty good and allows you to get them in bulk, so enjoy. Number six is Ultimate Vader Overhaul by Sly Pair. Sometimes little changes can make a big difference. This mod makes a bunch of minor fixes to Vader's appearance, which allows Vader to look his best. This includes a new black material for his outfit, a buffing out of all blemishes on his armor, an adding of more movie accurate colors to his chest buttons, as well as a more accurate version of his helmet, including Vader's classic crimson lenses. If you thought Vader looked good before, you're gonna love the way he looks after this mod. Number five is Dynamic Force Lightning by Baxter. Speaking of a mod that enhances the look of a Sith, there's this beauty that really makes Palpatine's lightning pop. If you felt like there was something lacking with the Emperor's famous sparks, you are not alone. Baxter has made major enhancements on the lightning, making it look more realistic and more menacing, making it an easy choice for our top five. In at number four, it's Movie Posters by Ben. Sometimes modders just amaze me. This mod replaces the paintings in Thede's Palace with movie posters from Star Wars Episode 1, 2, 5, 6, and 7. These posters work seamlessly in the surrounding palace and are a neat feature that will certainly draw more eyes than the original paintings. Just a cool mod to make things prettier in the game. It's it's just wonderful. In at number three, it's Akbar Legacy by Iced Zun. This mod is most certainly not a trap. This mod is pretty great. It replaces Finn's character with Admiral Akbar, and this change doesn't look bad at all. It actually fits in quite well. Admiral Akbar has been a fan favorite since Return of the Jedi, so to put the Rebel Commander in the game seems like the right thing to do, especially after his, <coughs> spoiler alert, untimely demise in The Last Jedi. Hashtag Akbar's not dead. The runner up this week is Palpatine's Royal Troopers by Fruit by the Fet. First off, this modder's name is pretty great. But anyway, this mod is fantastic. There was a mod called Crimson Troopers that was featured on this list previously, but this red trooper feels 100% different and that much better. The color is meant to echo the color of Palpatine's Royal Guards, and it does that and so much more. Not to mention the officers get an outfit change as well. If the Stormtroopers would have looked like this throughout the movies, I feel like respect would have been easier. Just saying. So before we hit number one, let's see which mods didn't quite sneak into our list.
And at number one this week, it's Sly's Cinematic Firefights 2 Blasters by Sly Pear. Sly has done it again. If you ever thought that Blaster Fire didn't look that great, then you must see this mod. Suddenly the red and blue Blaster Fire is popping all over the screen in such beautiful splendor. The battle becomes a firefight where you can quite easily see the fire as it flies past your head. It's just amazing. Not to mention this also works in Starfighter Assault. The only downside is that it makes it hard to go back to firefights without it. But wow, just well done, sir. Well done. All right, that's our list. I hope you guys liked this list. Remember to support the modders in the video and give them some love. There are download links to all these mods in the description below. So if you'd like to try it out for yourself, feel free. Also, if you want to know how to install mods at all, check out our video on how to install mods for Battlefront 2 so you can get in on all the fun. Also, like, comment, subscribe, become a sponsor or patron today. But most of all, have an awesome day. I warn you not to underestimate my powers. Do not throw away your potential. Don't force me to kill you!